Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Random Pets Genetics Challenge here in our laboratory. And I really should say that this is the Random Pets Genetics Experiments, our special experiments where we pull together some of the purebred animals of the world and mix and mash their genes to see what kind of crossbreeds they can create. And lately I have been thinking a lot about lions, probably because that new lion came out in Wildcraft, which I know so many of you guys are so excited about for our stories and adventures there and also because I have been watching so much Safari Live. If you guys have not been watching Safari Live on YouTube, oh my gosh, are you ever missing out on the best experience ever? It is a live safari where you ride with naturalists and educators in their tiny little jeeps that are very noisy and they're like, I wish I had an electric jeep and it's the cutest thing in the world. And you see live different prides of lions, baboons bouncing about, and of course the lovely leopards who I would love to have in one of our random pets genetics experiments in the future. But I've been watching a lot of Safari Live because as you guys probably know, I've moved! We have moved our lab, my friends! We have left the halls of North Carolina, or we have left the trees of Michigan is what I was trying to say, and we have come to these humble hollow halls of North Carolina, surrounded by birds and greenery. If you guys would like, I am doing some moving vlogs here and on the main channel and over on the vlog channel to catch y'all up on it. But I say that because the entire time I moved, it was a mix of packing things while listening to Tetris music and admiring a beautiful pride of lions currently in the Maasai Mara through Safari Live. So I have a lot of like lions on my mind and wanted to see what they would look like with more experiments. In the past, we have had the wildly successful experiment of a lion and a lamb to welcome in the spring season, but my friends, today our handsome lion has returned. He is ready to roam once more through the halls of our laboratory. He is ready to tell a new adventure. And as he wanders through the forest of Brindleton Bay, uh, which I can only imagine he's wandering in Brindleton Bay because there's not really like, well, I guess he could go to Oasis Springs. <clears throat> As he wanders through the dusty, sandy lands of Oasis Springs, searching out for his next adventure, our lovely lion happens to stumble upon... Are you guys ready for today's experimental mix? Alina! Alina, the adorable little corgi. She is a very friendly and happy corgi whose father happens to be, you know, her human dad father, happens to be a tech wizard who has set himself up in Oasis Springs uh, with a beautiful tech house. He makes big bank. She's a little like, she's the heiress to, to millions of simoleons basically. But she's wandering and playing in her backyard of Oasis Springs, kind of wondering and wishing that there was more to life than just her owner's constant pursuit of technology and money when she happens to catch the eye of our lion. And thankfully he's not very hungry and thankfully he has had his genes twisted and tossed about by me in the past so he knows how we are going to proceed from here. Today my friends we're going to see what a lion and a corgi crossbreed is going to look like. Why a corgi? Because I cannot get them off my mind and I can't get lions off my mind and we've done cute crossbreeds with both of them so we must proceed. We must proceed and see what a lion and a corgi would have if we mixed their genes together. Also, really quickly, I have actually finally managed to come up with the perfect way to do our naming scheme with these except special like side experiments of our laboratory animals as well. So I'm gonna start naming these animals after you guys, just like we do in our normal cats and dogs random pets genetics challenge experiments here in the laboratory. I just love that pun so much I have to say it a million times. So if you guys would like to be named after future or have future crossbreeds, I was gonna say puppies and kittens, but the fact of the matter is we've had everything from lemur kittens to mer cats uh, and, and I mean lions and lamb crossbreeds, I'm not even sure what you would call that, born in this lab, so you could be anything. And if you would like to become one of these animals and have them named after you, then all you need to do is leave a comment, my friends, and your name shall be added to the random generator, which, you know, totally 
goes with the fact that we do random things around here. And that's actually where Ariana comes from. So Ariana, thank you, uh, Arena, excuse me. Thank you very much for your sweet comment last time. You are a spoiled princess of a corgi whose heart is set on family, even though her owner's heart is set on millions. But well, we'll go ahead and we will help her have those puppies that she is yearning for. Let's see what her personality is going to be first. Okay, we have to reroll because she is not gonna produce wool. And she's not gonna produce milk either. I have a mod in to make farm animals, so that's why those were even traits. Arena is a glutton who's smart and a bit of a sleuth. So she's very observant and she must love really fancy dog food, but uh, she, she pays attention to things. So maybe she pays attention to our lazy hunter here and is able to offer him some food so that he would prefer to eat some of her fancy food rather than her. And the end result is that their eyes meet and we end up with puppies, puppies. Okay, so let's go ahead and start. We're gonna have Arena and our lion this is not anything like I thought we would have. <laughs> okay, they had a little girl. Well, welcome little cutie patootie. Let's go ahead and find out what her name is going to be by picking one of your guys' names. And Myla, Malia, Malia. It's literally M-L-I-A or L M L I A. So I didn't misspell that, but thank you, Mil Mila. Thank you, Mila for leaving such a sweet comment last time and welcome, welcome to our new experiment. So this is, she's she's a mix between a lion and a corgi, huh? We're gonna have to see how that turns out when she grows up. All right, and she inherits her father's laziness, her mother's smarts, and she's very, very loyal. So that's gonna be fun to see what she grows up into. But let's carry on. Their next child, Ah, it doesn't look like a lion again. Ah, oh, Fooey is another little girl. I was really hoping we'd have like lion corgis. That's kind of what I'm going for. But welcome to little Laura. So Laura, thank you so much for your sweet comments before. And you are a hairy hunter who's a glutton. So a good mix of both. And now I'm kind of hoping she'll grow up and like have a lot of her father's size. So, so far, no lion lion colored corgi puppies. I'm really holding out for a lion corgi puppy. All right, let's go ahead and mix again. Okay, okay. Not quite what we were going for, but I see a very noble snout on the first sun. Let's go ahead and this is actually gonna be gotcha. <laughs> so many of you guys are in two gotchas and I, I have no idea what that's all about. So let me know why you love it so much. But this young, young little pup, he is an aggressive hunter who does love to sleep. So welcome, little guy. Come on, give us the lion corgi puppy. Yeah, like that, like that. Come on, come on, you two. <gasps> okay, that's really cute. Oh my goodness. We might have a lion corgi, if not a corgi lion. That would be really exciting. So we have a little girl, guys, with red eyes. I wonder if she is going to end up being, uh, definitely gonna end up being like a hunter. But thank you very much. This is going to be a fuzzy wolf. So thank you, fuzzy wolf. I'm so glad you enjoyed our lemur kittens from last time. You are a sleuth who is very friendly and you are a little jumpy. I really think that, I wonder if you're gonna turn it, like, look, look at the body. I think we have a lion corgi on our hands there, my friends. All right, but are we gonna get the lion? Come on, lion. Ah. Oh. We did not get the lion once more, but I see a really proud snout and red eyes again. That's kind of amazing how often that is coming up on little Nightlight. So welcome, Nightlight, to our pride of corgi lions. And let's go ahead and see what you're going to turn out to be. Randomize until we have nothing modded a glutton who is loyal and smart. Very interesting indeed. Come on, lion, I wanna see lion corgis. I really wanna see lion corgis. Come on, this is the last one, you guys. Lion corgi. <gasps> so close, so close. Okay, I will accept this as a perfect blend between the styles. If I could not have the lion, at least this this looks like a mix between the lion's colors and the corgi. And to be honest, we ended up with mostly girls. So it's probably good they didn't inherit their father's mane. All right, so I'm kind of disappointed because I really wanted a, um, really, really wanted to end up 
<laughs> with a very cute little lion corgi, but that's okay. That's okay. I think that our little pride is perfect and we are going to have a wild LPS. So wild little pet shop. I'm going to name you little wild actually, because that's adorable. And let's see what your personality will be. You are going to be a glutton who is aggressive and loyal. So I think that you know how to defend your food, which is very good since you are part of a corgi lion pack. But all right, my friends, I really wanted to see what a corgi lion would look like. Who knows, maybe Ayina has caught the eye of our handsome lion, and maybe we will be back to see what their babies will look like for a second litter. Let me know if you guys think that would be fun, because I think it'd be kind of fun to keep going till we finally get a like lion corgi. That would be pretty cute. All right, so let's go ahead and see what they are going to grow up into. Little Amila. M M L Malia is going to grow up into a lion. She has got the lion shape, but her mother's coloring and gentle eyes. That's actually really freaking adorable. Oh my gosh. Let's look at that comparison in her appearance again. Like that's so cute. You would think she really, really grew into her face too. Look at those ears. And she actually looks like she has the most gentle expression. Oh my gosh, I really like her mix. I really, really like this mix. Look at those gigantic paws. You would never guess that her father is like the king of the jungle, ready to, to consume anyone. But you would, you would think that maybe her mother is this absolutely adorable, very cute and kind little corgi. I mean, just look at her cute little face. And then here's dad. He's, he's just kind of like ready to consume things. He's like, I am just here for the food, to be honest. The really high quality food that this rich guy feeds his corgi. Uh, all right, and little Laura, let's go ahead. I mean, this is the family that Arena has always dreamed of that will fill her heart, even though her master has been trying to fill that with food. She's more interested in having all of her puppies, her little pride of puppies with her. Laura? Oh my gosh, she's so cute. <laughs> she kind of looks like a little jackal, doesn't she? What? Look at that. She does kind of look like a little jackal. Welcome. Welcome, Laura. Very happy to see you. You really, like, I feel like we could just let her loose and she's like almost like a little coyote. That's really fun. Oh my gosh. And then gotcha. Let's go ahead and see what you've got for us. A gigantic gorgi! It's a super sized gorgi! Oh my gosh! Somebody sprinkled a corgi with like some super grow, and this is what we ended up with. I actually love this! I've never seen all of the corgi features on such a big dog before, but that's literally what we have created. This is so cool! Good job, you two! This is such a lovely. I mean, these are all really nice looking dogs. I really, really can't get over how soft and gentle. Doesn't that doesn't Malia's face just look like somebody that you would want to have around your kids? Like, oh, that's a dog that's going to protect my children. I like that. She's a good nanny dog. All right, Fuzzy Wolf. You've got this cute little face with this cute little schmish nose and these cute little ears. Let's see what you have for us as an adult. Okay. The silence was my jaw hitting the ground. I thought we were going to have cute tiny corgi. We ended up with this massive beast. <laughs> I mean, the, the whole body structure is even bigger than the lion's made. I feel like the lion would look at that and kind of be like, whoa, like, I didn't expect that. Like, this is amazing. She's got a mane to rival her father. Wow. Okay, you look like a Burmese mountain dog now. That's really interesting. Oh my gosh, and I think she, yeah, I think she inherited her father's snout. Nah, her mom's snout. That's so interesting. Wow, we basically have like, like yeah, I just, I can't get over the fact that her mane is bigger. We basically have a lion size like color of, of the corgi mama. That was so cute. And Nightlight, let's go ahead and see what you're going to grow up into, dear. Oh, why is that so cute? Why are corgi ears so cute? Just look at that. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm actually super impressed by this litter. I really, really am. I mean, look at that. I can't tell if I'm looking at a lion corgi puppy or like a, a jackalope. Look at those ears. That is so adorable. 
Oh, all right, and then let's go ahead and see what little little wild has to offer us. The closest we came to having a pride of lion corgis this time. I actually am really impressed with the diversity of this, so we might do another litter just to cross our paws for a lion corgi in the future. But let's go ahead and see what she will grow into. <laughs> okay, I don't think that the tech guru guy who protects, like, who, who, who takes care of Ariana is ever going to need about to worry about having guard dogs. Would you walk in and mess with these dogs? Well, maybe this one. He's really cute. I really feel like we have the perfect guard dogs uh, for, I mean, look, we've got one that can go for the ankles. And then we've got three or two. Well, that he's uh, Gotcha is not going to do anything. Look at that face. Nightlight might. But I really feel like we have the perfect pride of guard dogs for Ariana's home. And also the perfect pride of puppies to be able to fill the hole in her heart and provide her with the pack that she has always wanted. I am actually super impressed by this. So what do you think, guys? Mila? Laura? Gotcha? Fuzzy Wolf? Nightlight or Little Wild, who did you enjoy best? Do let me know and I'm just really, I've got lions on the mind and I really wanna see more lion patterned like dog crossbreeds or lion, I don't know, zebras and things like that. So if you would like to see some future crossbreeds, do leave some suggestions down in the comments below because the experiments are only just beginning. So thank you guys so much for joining me. If you could, do please leave a like to toss treats to these very large corgi lions. And if you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But until next time, my friends, stay curious. And I'll see you then. Bye-bye.